It's time for evolution. We welcome you to the Ugono Art Family. Today, we're going to be uh, talking about how it's okay to let loose when it comes to uh, creativity and not be so strict. So, in whatever creative field that you're in, the best ideas always come when you're not trying to think of the best ideas. Let's say, for example, during uh, sleep, during uh, night nighttime, you know? Uh, during that that time, you know, all the best ideas come during our our time in sleep, and that's because we're not trying to we're not trying so hard. It's just coming to us. It's in, it's coming to us effortlessly, and we're not fixated on trying to get the best idea ever. And fixation stops the flow of creativity. And sometimes people, including myself, are frightened to take risks, frightened to, you know, explore and experiment. However, that's where the joy of life comes. So if you're if you're living a, uh, for example, when it comes to life, the perfect life is just living in routine, never exploring, never, you know, taking the risk, you're seeing the same people every day, you're going to the same spots, you're, you're walking the same direction. There's no exploring, there's no adventure. When you're living that risky, experimental, playful life, you know, you start to feel more adventurous. You start to gain, you start to evolve more. You start to feel life being a more exciting process. And if anything, in my view, perfection is a subjective experience as opposed to a objective experience. And so perfection is like a a wooded subjective experience so to get more into detail of that is that you know there are some people that may see you know a music video of an artist to be oh this is the perfect song or this is the perfect uh you know show the perfect movie the perfect anime oh this this is the perfect artist you know however that's their perspective and other people are not going to agree with that person's perspective of perfection and at the same time we're looking at it from one lens however when we look at it from multiple lenses we start to see something different so let's say you know if we we see a, a quote, quote unquote perfect artist that we that we admire you know how how long did it take to get to that level who are their who who are their mentors you know who who did they study are they, and are they uh, constantly improving that's that's also something because as an artist and as a as a person you want to constantly be self discovering yourself constantly be uh you know improving your art you know evolution doesn't doesn't stop evolution ends until death arises until you die you know the evolution process just keeps on going you keep on discovering new new things discovering new techniques you know you know improving yourself day by day so even if a person like an artist is at a professional level they're still seeking new ways to to breach you know break the boundaries you know you know to challenge themselves to to improve even further and so i always say that perfection is an illusion when it comes to art because you can keep adding and subtracting more as well as art gives the illusion of complexity but at its foundation it's simple and so simplicity less effort and not trying so hard is key and so even today i'd also get fixated on a, a certain outcome when it comes to my art or a story that i'm writing or like the script but then i remind myself to like let loose and then let things flow naturally and so when it comes to writing a script or or making art they both have the same concepts and so when you're making art you want to you want to start with the gesture you know with, with art there's uh the uh, emotional aspect there's the gesture and then there's the mental aspect of art you know understanding your anatomy the basic fundamentals of art you know all the technical stuff that's the mental and then the physical is actually putting your your hands into practice taking the physical action to actually you know draw these these objects you know and same thing goes for writing you know you want to free flow but at the same time you want to have knowledge about how certain writing how writing works you know like when you're draw when you're doing a, a screenplay you want to know about the six page plot structure you want to understand different terminology 
you know you want to understand uh, certain uh, writing and film techniques film openings you know etc all of these are uh, technical and mental aspects they're important however there comes a time where you have to you have to let loose and be free reduce the stress and uh, empower more of that creative side empower more of the emotional side now i say that there are three sides to art as i said the the emotional the mental and then there's a physical side and all these sides combine form what i like to call is the art trinity and i have a separate video going in specifics with the art trinity and so that will be the video thank you guys for watching feel free to let loose <laughs>